The primary mission of the United States Navy is to gain and maintain control of the sea, guaranteeing our use of international waters wherever and whenever required by our essential national interests. Spearheading the defensive phase of our mission are our submarine fleets, the newest and fastest of which is the 688-class nuclear-powered fast attack submarine. But to perform its mission as an effective deterrent against any potential aggressor, it must be equipped with an adequate supply of competent weapon systems. These are provided in part through the efforts of the scientists and engineers employed at the Naval Underwater Systems Center, Newport, Rhode Island. Engineers at the center's launcher laboratory have developed an automated weapon carrier for loading, storing, and handling the torpedo Mark 48 and subrock weapon systems. The most modern, fully operational submarine weapon handling system is found in the SSN 688 class submarine. Basically, it is an outgrowth of the SSN 637 class system. The major difference is in the replacement of the centerline weapon elevator, with two elevators located adjacent to the load lines. For future submarines, the development of the automated weapon carrier could increase the weapon inventory from 22 weapons to a maximum inventory of 35. This system is referred to as the maximum density AWC system. This is an improvement over a previous plan for a high density AWC system having an inventory of 30 weapons. In this system, two load line platforms are used in the loading of the weapon. In order to gain the additional stowage locations for the maximum density AWC system, the load line platforms are replaced with a 24-inch wide elevator in line with the port and starboard torpedo tubes. The torpedo tube cant angle has to be reduced to 5 degrees using this system. In addition, the center line of the tubes must be displaced a matter of inches both vertically and athwart ship from the current SSN 688 class positions. There is a backup weapon stored at each of the four torpedo tube load line positions, ready for immediate tube loading. If none of these is suitable, another may be selected. One of the backup weapons has to be moved before a desired weapon can be brought into position. The circulation of weapons is accomplished by first moving one of the outboard weapons onto either the port or starboard elevators using the outboard athwart ship drive pistons. The elevator is then aligned with one of the load line positions. The synchronized athwart ship drive mechanism engages the AWC on the elevator and pushes it into the load line position. Since the row is already filled with weapons, this displaces the weapon at the opposite end of the row onto the elevator. Repeating this procedure allows any weapon to be brought to a load line position. A prototype AWC and a hydraulic powered pusher chain loading system has been developed and is currently in use at the Naval Underwater System Center Launcher Laboratory. The pusher chain engages the pre-connected rammer arm located inside the AWC. The hydraulic drive and the rammer chain are an integral part of the load line platform. After the AWC has been secured to the platform, the tube door is opened, the front cover is removed, providing access to the weapon, and an extension track is installed. The installation is quickly accomplished using two quick-release pins. With the weapon positioned, the front cover removed, and the portable rammer chain track extension in place, the five pairs of padded clamps and the guide stud clamp, which restrain the weapon in the AWC, are simultaneously released. During ramming, the weapon slides on non-metallic lands, which are an integral part of the AWC. The weapon is thus restrained and under positive control during all phases of tube loading. In addition, the system is provided with interlocks for further protection of the crew and the weapon. 
Since the AWC completely encloses the weapon, it is necessary to provide access to various parts to perform operational procedures and maintenance. For the Torpedo Mark 48 Mod 1, a hinged cover is provided for access to the exploder. This will allow the installation and removal of the exploder while the weapon is on the load line platform without partially tube loading the weapon. All other operations will be performed at the tube door. In the case of Subrock, a hinged cover will be provided for the installation and removal of the battery power supply. Access holes will be provided at the charging valves and ports for pressure monitoring and recharging. These to be performed on the load line platform without partially tube loading the weapon. All other operations will be performed at the breach door during loading. In the case of the Mark 48, these operations include the repositioning of the torpedo-mounted dispenser. Offloading is a simple matter of reversing the previously described procedures. The TMD is repositioned onto the weapon, the rammer is attached, the system is switched from the lock position, and the weapon is removed from the tube into the AWC. Note the smoothness with which this two-ton weapon slides on the non-metallic lands. There is absolutely no vibration or quiver in the movement of the weapon. As it reaches the end of the AWC, the weapon stops are lowered automatically and the manually operated locking handle is moved to the lock position. It is not intended, nor is it suggested, that existing submarines be retrofitted to handle the advanced automated weapon carrier. The system is available and throughout its test phase has operated with unparalleled success. It is suggested that future attack submarines be equipped with a high density weapon handling system based on the AWC technology developed at the Naval Underwater Systems Center.